machines that make themselves. In the Hollywood version, this is where Armageddon ensues. If the sci-fi genre has taught us anything, it's that you should start running. Fortunately, you've nothing to fear. These robots are our friends. They work tirelessly, 24-7, helping us build Lulzbot 3D printers. To say they build themselves may be an overstatement, but barely. To date, the Lulzbot cluster has printed over 2 million production-grade components used to build more Lulzbot 3D printers, and counting. That's over 3,250 miles of 3 millimeter filament. More than enough to stretch from Loveland, Colorado to Fairbanks, Alaska. But 3D printers are too slow to be used for production, you say? Tell that to Cody, the man charged with keeping up with the cluster. Currently, we've got about 155 um, 3D printers in our cluster, 135 of our minis, and uh, about 20 of our TAS 6s currently running 24-7. Uh, we range anywhere from 1,000 parts a day to upwards of 10 to 15,000 parts a day. And we tend to average about 45 to 50 kilograms a day of ABS plastic. A cluster of our size, we generally have about two to four people. Uh, we do operate 24-7, so we do have some extra overlap. In the first probably four to five years that the company was operating its cluster, we hit our one millionth printed part after about four, four and a half years. And it's only been about a year to a year and a half since we've hit our two millionth part. But the cluster wasn't always so large or reliable. Like the company, the cluster has grown from humble origins. In the first years of ALIF Objects, we had a really small cluster. We had about you know, between a dozen or two dozen printers. And then those printers printed the next set of printers. So every time we were doubling how many printers we had. The first year of the cluster was much less formal than it is now. Um, it existed on top of a large metal table. At one point we outgrew that and then had to move to shelves. And then those shelves eventually became enclosed. We had a large bay door next to the cluster. Anytime that door would be open for shipments, it would you know, wipe out a half a row of, of prints in the middle of winter. So we moved into enclosures. Needing the printers to reliably make more printers fueled rapid improvements. Whether printing new components for the next generation or trying out a bright modification idea from the Lulzbot community, the cluster runs around the clock, amassing millions of print hours annually. Every hour printing in the cluster is another hour tested, analyzed, improved upon, evolving in real time, print by print. One thing we do at ALF Objects is we rapidly develop and change our products. So early on, we were rapidly developing largely. I mean, we were making massive changes throughout a year. Now it's more small incremental changes, but it's still really useful. So if we have an issue in production where a part is either failing or we have a high rate of failure, we can change that almost overnight. Within one to two days, we can switch a design, do some tests, and then very quickly move that into production that day. Today, Wolfsbot 3D printers have a reputation as workhorse machines, evolved to outlive the competition earning a global community of dedicated Lulzbot users in the process. Like those thousands of individuals, businesses, and educators around the world, we rely on Lulzbot 3D printers every day. So while a 3D printer going down might not seem that bad in the big picture, to us, it's pretty much the end of the world.